Hi, I'm Steph, and this is Mac, and this is Tosh. So today I wanted to share the crate journey. Now when I got my first Greyhound, which was Mac, I read the book I was told to read, the Greyhounds for Dummies book, and I read all about it, and I read all the information from my adoption agency, and I overwhelmingly heard and read that I needed to get a crate for Mac. So basically, racing greyhounds are kept in crates um, when they're not racing or out in the bathroom or running, anything like that. So they're in their crate, then they're taken out multiple times per day. Um, but that's what they're used to. That's their whole life has been, this is their kind of home, this is their safe space. And so you want to create that environment when you get your retired racing greyhound to your house. So I bought the crate, I had everything ready, I read all about it, I was like, okay, this is how you introduce them, da 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 I did all the things. So I get home, put Mac in the crate, and I practice leaving, and I practice going back, and all the things, and Mac absolutely hated the crate. There was no denying it. I tried all the things, I contacted the adoption agency and said, Mac does not seem to be liking her crate. And the whole point of the crate was it's a comfort, it's a safety, it's something they're used to, and so that's the whole point of having this crate. But she was so stressed out. I'd leave her in there and she would just whine and moan and did not want to be in the crate. So I tried and tried and tried because that's what they kept telling me to do is you gotta keep her in the crate, you gotta teach her to be in the crate because she might have accidents in the house and all the things. So anyways, ultimately what happened is Mac was so upset in her crate that she actually teared and clawed trying to get out. She didn't get out, but she literally bent the crate. And I was like, okay, I'm done. So put the crate away. Well, actually I left it out for a while, just like out and she never went in it. And so I just took the crate away and she's had zero issues, no bathroom issues. She just hated that crate and I got rid of it. So since that time I've had, um, my neighbor has gotten two greyhounds and a friend of mine in Orlando got a greyhound and they weren't as diligent with the crate. They got a crate, their dogs didn't really care for the crate, they didn't really use the crate. And that's kind of how it was. My neighbor's dog Link, he did get crated because he was having some destructive issues at first, not anymore at all. Um, but they created him for a little bit of time, worked perfect, he had no issues, done. So when I went to adopt little Tosh here, <laughs> um, I didn't think anything about the crate. I thought, you know what, Mac hated the crate. It's kind of triggering for me, like brings out a lot of <laughs> anxiety. So I thought, I'm not gonna do the crate. So I didn't even get a crate. I didn't even own a crate anymore. I actually had two crates and I had got rid of them years ago, but I knew my neighbor had a crate. If I needed it, I would, I would be able to use it. So didn't crate her and she did fine in the house. She did have bathroom issues in the house early on, and still to this day, we have some issues. Uh, if you want me to do a whole video about kind of her bathroom issues, I will, uh, I will do that. Um, you know, not the funnest subject, but if you want to know about that, we'll talk about that. Uh, Mac is actually great. She's only once, once peed in the house, and that was because of a medical issue, so she uh, has had zero issues with that, but Tosh, on the other hand, has. Uh, so what happened was Tosh was fine, not in the crate at night, but then she started peeing and pooping in the house and at night. And that was not good, so I uh, tried dealing with that, and ultimately, now this is going to get graphic, I apologize, but just going to put it out there. <laughs> One morning I woke up and I noticed a spot that looked like there used to be poop there. And that's when I freaked out because I thought, I think Tosh ate her poop, and I was like, this is not okay. Hey Tosh, hey girlie. <laughs> she knows I'm talking about her. Um, and so I was like, I was very disturbed. So I contacted the vet, I said, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Um, and I did some more research and I actually found out that's pretty normal for dogs to eat their poop. It's just really gross for us, but um, it's not actually that damaging for them to eat their own poop. Other dogs poop is a whole nother story. Um, but that's what I figured out she was doing and absolutely was like, we gotta figure this out. What can I do to avoid this happening? Um, and so talked to the vet and he said, you, may, you know, you might need a crater. And so I got my neighbor's crate and I crated Tosh and I was really nervous that so she was going to hate it. I put her in the crate. No problems. She slept through the night. She didn't pee or poop in the crate. No problems. Next night, perfect, 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 perfect. So basically anytime she was in the crate, she had no bathroom issues whatsoever. Um, so I got a little confidence after a couple months. I was like, okay, this is going well. So. I started to leave her out of the crate and 
Yet again, she peed and pooped in the house at night. So went back to the crate and I've had her about nine months now and that's what I've been doing. I've been keeping her in the crate and she's been doing great. But lately, two weeks ago, she actually started whining in her crate, which was very abnormal for her. I thought she, maybe she had to go out to the, go to the bathroom. What I realized is she didn't want to be in her crate anymore. So I let her, left her out of the crate that night and I was like, okay, I'm gonna pee and poop to clean up in the morning. But there was no issues and she just stayed in, um, there's two beds in my, in my bedroom. There is the crated bed and then there's a circle bed. And she just stayed in the circle bed all night. And I have a camera so I was able to see that that's all she did all night. So I started leaving her out and for about six days she did great, no issues. On the seventh day she did pee in the house. Um, so I tried to crate her again but she just wasn't having it. So she's basically told me she doesn't want to be crated anymore. So, so I'm respecting that and figuring out how we can make that work. So I'm making sure that she goes to the bathroom right before bed, um, goes outside, even if she doesn't want to go, we get her, we get her out there with treats uh, or I get her out there with a treat. I close all the doors to all the rooms in my house, which I don't normally do, but I close all the doors except the bedroom where she is. And um, just so there's no places she can go, like it's very few places she can have an accident if that happens. I wish I could do a puppy pad in case she has an accident, but she never goes in the same place. Um, so it's hard to put puppy pads down on every floor, part of my floor. Uh, but it's been about two weeks now and she's only had the one accident. So I'm really proud of her. She's been doing really good without the crate. So I just want to say I'm really proud of Miss Little Tosh here for telling me that she was ready to be out of her crate. Um, and so today I'm going to take them a crate. So it's been up for, you know, the two weeks that I've been leaving her out. And Mac, Mac is actually been going in the crate at night. I know the door's not closed, but she's been going in the crate. So, you know, crazy girls. I don't know about these greyhounds. Um, I'm going to take the crate down. I'm going to leave it in the garage. Um, you know, we're taking one day at a time. I don't know, you know, if we have to go back to the crate full time, we'll figure it out. But we're going to take down the crate and um, I will keep you updated if you want to know how things are going with Macintosh. Um, and if you want to know about anything else about these dogs, uh, like I said, I've had Mac for almost three years. It'll be three years in November is her gotcha day. And Tosh will be one year in November. So uh, just, I love greyhounds. I love all dogs actually now. I was never, gray I was never a dog person before I got my greyhounds, but um, I love all dogs, especially greyhounds, and if you have any questions or want to see any future videos, let me know. Thanks. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs>